Hi, this is Dr. Wilshire at Missouri Fertility. This video discusses the informed consent agreement where we talk about the disposition of embryos and the declaration of intent of these embryos. During in vitro fertilization, we frequently uh, create more than one embryo, and these embryos are frozen and held in storage for use at a later date. Unfortunately, uh, things can happen in life uh, that can radically change uh, your plans for how you want to use these embryos. Uh, this uh, consent form is one of the most difficult and soul-searching uh, uh, processes you can think of because we need to talk about some uh, um, very difficult subjects. You need to think about what's going to happen if one of you dies. On this form, we have parent A and parent B. If you have extra embryos, you need to think about it now. What are you going to do with the embryos if parent A dies? How about parent B? How about in the horrible uh, circumstance where both of you die at the same time? What do you want done with your embryos? Unfortunately, marriages and relationships will split up. Now, there are divorces and dissolutions of relationships. What do you want done with the embryos uh, in that uh, potential circumstance? Sometimes couples uh, are done with treatment. They don't want to do it anymore, and their plans uh, uh, have otherwise changed as well. We need to think about these circumstances and what might we want done with the embryos. Well, embryos have uh, a number of potential fates. In most couples, we transfer embryos until they're all gone. The patient, the uh, couple has established their, uh, their family. Embryos are gone, everybody's happy. Sometimes you have extra embryos, and uh, a lot of couples will give those embryos uh, away. They'll give them to uh, friends, uh, people they meet on chat groups. There's a large uh, social uh, network uh, out there, people looking for embryos, giving away embryos, and sometimes very uh, wonderful relationships and tight bonds are made with people, and these embryos can be uh, shipped or used by other individuals after, of course, going through all the proper uh, legal hoops. Uh, sometimes a couple does not want to give their embryos away. And once again, it doesn't have to be a couple. It can be a a single individual, but whoever has responsibility for the embryo or the embryos does not want them given away. Well, in those instances, uh, the embryos can be uh, given to uh, research and clinical training. The other option is the embryos can be discarded. Now, we are not the owners of these embryos. We are the caretakers. Uh, the owners of the embryos uh, are the owners of the embryos, and uh, we have to follow their wishes. You need to make it clear up front what your wishes are uh, so there's no uh, indecisiveness or any uh, uncertainty about you, what your wishes were uh, to begin with. Now, embryos are stored. Or they're cryopreserved. The cryopreservation requires uh, lots of liquid nitrogen, which is very cold and very expensive. Uh, it takes uh, administrative uh, work to keep them uh, uh, happy and accounted for, and uh, there are these uh, fees that are accrued. Uh, they're generally billed uh, annually or quarterly, so you need to anticipate uh, what are you going to do about that and understand that those potential fees are, uh, are coming. There are also time limits. Sometimes couples move away, people uh, change jobs, they, they change their contacts, and even though we're mailing a uh, you know, certify letters, they come back, and the person uh, is not found. You need to understand that it is your responsibility to stay in touch with us. Let us know if you move. Let us know if your contact changes so we can stay in touch with you and take good care uh, of these embryos in storage. So those are the highlights of the consent form revolving around the disposition of embryos and declaration of intent. 
These involve very difficult thoughts and uh, potential scenarios, but we need to think about it now and make decisions now while we're clear-headed and not under uh, potential stress of some of these uh, unfortunate things that can happen in life. I hope you found that helpful. This is Dr. Wilshire at Missouri Fertility.